What's up, y'all? It's your guy, eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and this is your UFC Nashville recap, baby. Uh, decent card. I went 6 out of 11, didn't do too well. Fucking got the main event right, but got some of these wrong. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, decent card. Didn't hate it, necessarily. Um, if I was to rate it 1 out of 10, probably a solid 7 or 6. I'd probably say a 6. There were some really funny fucking moments in this card. I thought the, the, the prelims were pretty good. The only fights I actually kind of missed, to be honest, were... There were two fights, actually. They were the... The uh, As Alambav fight over Odi Osman, where he got the rear naked choke, and then obviously the Sean Woodson fight. I saw half of the Cody Durden Jake Hadley fight, which was interesting. Let's talk about that. Uh, yeah, Jake Hadley kind of got exposed. Uh, lost. Cody Durden defended the takedowns, stuffed him, and just boxed him up, bro. Real, real talk. That's probably pretty much what happened. Uh, next up, though, besides that, but good one for Cody Durden. Needed it. Um, taught UK respect. Shades of what's going to happen when Kobe Covington fights Leon Edwards. Just letting y'all know. But yeah, besides that though, uh, Billy Quarantillo versus Damon Jackson. What a scrap. Actually, one of my pretty, pretty good fucking fight, man. This was a good, good, honest fight. I thought Damon Jackson could have edged it, but really, really close fight though. I wasn't mad about them giving to Billy Quarantillo. He did the right things in terms of the striking and stuff like that. I wasn't really mad at what he did in there. And, and yeah, it was, it was a really good, honest fight, to be honest with you. I, I liked it. The scrambles, the striking, the clinch work, everything. All of it was really, really dope. Let's, but let's talk about the highlight of the night. My favorite moment of the night. Carlson Harris teaching Jeremiah Wells respect. I've been waiting for Jeremiah Wells to be taught respect for a very, very long time. This guy is a fraud. He's been a fraud. He always will be a fraud. And Carlson Harris went out there and taught him respect with the end of kind of choke after being dominated for the for the first two rounds. Went out there, showed the indomitable human spirit, and taught the swinging, fucking rinkadink wrestling hump boy <laughs> power striker jeremiah wells respect baby and it was fucking beautiful i loved it it was crazy i was just i was hyped bro. i was really hyped uh next up kyle phillips beat uh ronnie barcelos good fight again i think ronnie barcelos is just a little older uh and you know what it just tells me right then and there umar and have never deserved a fight with Corey Sanhagen, even though I know some people are fucking killing Corey Sanhagen for the performance against Rob Font, uh, but yeah, it is what it is, um, yeah, Ronnie Barcelos is just older guy, he's not the same guy that fought Chris Gutierrez and uh, Saeed Nurmagomedov, he's older, and yeah, 135 is an unforgiving division, man, and if you lose a step, man, they'll get you, so good win for Kyle Phillips, Kyle Phillips is developing his resume right now, and making somewhat of a case to kind of maybe get a ranked opponent next, so it should be interesting to see what he has, he did fail the test against Holly, uh, against Paiva, but I think, you know, if you retest him, I think he makes it up. Ludovic Klein beats Ignacio Bajalmandez. Fucking beautiful fight. Uh, took him down, fucking jabbed him up, and hit the one to hurt him in the first round, and just... He just exposed this this delusion that Ignacio Bajalmandez was, was an elite prospect. He's a decent prospect. Uh, he, he does have some, you know, room to grow, but... The kid's not that good. Roosevelt Roberts beats him in a rematch. Y'all can go fucking kiss that. <laughs> Whatever. However you feel about it. You can go kiss the ground with that opinion if you disagree. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, Louis Klein got the victory. Good striking. Good uh, transitions into wrestling. I liked what he did in there. And yeah, good fight for him. Tanner Boza versus Alaska Kamora. This is when the card kind of took a dip. Uh... I mean, it was interesting at moments, but again, a lot of clinching, a lot of clinch fasting, and yeah, it just wasn't my thing. And I'm not—I'm just not a fan of Tanner Bozo uh, at light heavyweight right now. I just, I'm not a fan of him in general, just to be honest. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, next up, Diego Lopez with this triangle armbar over Gavin Tucker. Good win for him. He looked amazing. Uh, obviously, Gavin Tucker was coming off a pretty big layoff, but still. Uh, I was really impressed with Diego Lopez and that victory there. I was really, really happy with what he did in there. He looked really good. And, yeah, man, fucking Diego Lopez is for real, bro. He is for real. So, respect to that, man. Uh, so, yeah, fucking amazing killer guard. And he's someone to look forward, in, look forward to in that 145 division. Uh, Dustin Jacoby knocks out the GOAT. 
getting in the squeeze, nigga. Hours, man. No, <laughs> my dog Kennedy lost, man. Uh, fucking beautiful right hand cross from Dustin Jacoby. Placed it right, got him. I sat him down and finished him. So good for Dustin Jacoby, but yeah, man. I, yeah, it is what it is. Good on good on Justin Jacoby proving me wrong there, but uh, Kennedy beats him in a rematch and a trilogy. Just saying, give him a few years, he'll get it back in the black. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant here. Uh, Tatiana Suarez gets the guillotine choke over Jessica Andrade. Jessica Andrade was on her way to probably winning this fight if she fought a smart fight. Jessica Andrade is a dummy and doesn't want to win fights. The the urgency wasn't there. You sprawled the takedown initially. Uh, probably 30 seconds before she got choked out and you shoot for a gilly and you got what you fucking deserved and you got guillotine your fucking damn self that was fight iq at its lowest tatiana suarez just had two performances where they were mad and she gets the finish she will get fucking destroyed against uh whaley zhang uh tata suarez is not her i guess i'll just say it like that instead of you know him but she is not her, and Jessica Andrade is a complete dummy and should consider retirement. So that, that is my opinion there. And in the main event, Corey Sanhagen puts on a wrestling clinic over Rob Font. I was really impressed by the fact that he's able to do that to Rob Font. I've never seen that happen to Rob Font for real. So good on Corey there. Boring fight though. Um, I, I you know you know me. I'm kind of like wishy washy when it comes to wrestling. I like it when my guys do it, but I, I hate it when it happens to my guys on the opposing side. So I, I was on the side of Corey Sanhagen, but you guys know I'm a big Rob Font fan. So that's fucking suck to see Rob get out wrestled like that. But hey, it is what it is. Would have been kind of interesting to see him and Umar now. I, I still kind of want to see how that would have went out. But hey, it is what it is. They shouldn't book it, or they should have never booked it. So. Not, I have no problem with it, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, man. Uh, Corey's on a three fight win streak, a Cheeto song, and Rob, good wins, but I don't know. Uh, I think Corey does beat um, Aljo and O'Malley, which is weird. I, I do think he's insanely improved. I don't know if they want to do maybe a Peter Yan rematch, maybe let him get that back, and then you put him back in title contention. I don't know where, what direction you want to go with Corey Sanhagen right now, but title shot right now off a performance like that is a tough, tough, and tall order to ask for. It's just, it's tough, man. He won the fight, but you just, I don't know. May, maybe you do Mirab and Corey, maybe that's, not, that's the direction you want to go, but it just seems like Suhudo and Mirab might be an actual fight they might do. And I, I just I just don't know, man. I just really, really don't know. And yeah, my guy Rob Font, man. That's just I feel I feel for him. He's, I know he's pretty sad after a fight like that. Um, and I was just kind of sad, man. I kind of want to see the who had the better jab out of the two. Obviously, I think it's Rob, but still, it would have been interesting to see you know the striking exchanges between both these guys. So yeah, that was a whatever kind of fight. But hey, it is what it is. I streamed it. Uh, you guys get the little pre-recorded recap because of the boring course and the fight. But yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love y'all. Goodbye. Your boy eBay is Addy.